everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Given problem, solve dy by dx equals to 1 minus x times y minus x minus x cubed times y minus x whole cube. Given differential equation, dy by dx equals to 1 minus x times 1 minus x minus x cube times y minus x whole cube. So it is not in direct form, right? The given equation is not in linear form or Bernoulli's form or any of the forms which we have discussed so far. So what we'll do is, we'll just make some substitution and reduce this equation to linear form. So let's see. Firstly, let y minus z equals to, sorry, y minus x equals to some z. Okay. Now, differentiate on both sides. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. d by dx of LHS part equals to d by dx of RHS part. Then, we can split this as d by dx of y minus d by dx of x equals to d by dx of z. Derivative of y with respect to x. We'll just write it as d by by dx, right? Since y is a variable. And derivative of x with respect to x is 1 equals to dz by dx, right? Since we are having dy by dx minus 1 equals to dz by dx. Now take this 1 to RHS. You will get dy by dx equals to dz by dx plus 1. Now you can replace dz by dx by, so dy by dx by dz by dx plus 1 and y minus x by z. Okay. When y minus x equals to z, then dy by dx equals to dz by dx plus 1, right? Now the above equation becomes dz by dx plus 1 equals to 1 minus x into z minus x cube into z whole cube. Then dz by dx equals to take this 1 to RHS, you will get 1 minus xz minus x cube z cube minus 1. 1 gets cancelled. So, the reduced equation is dz by dx equals to minus zx or xz minus x cube, z cube. So, if you bring minus xz to LHS, we'll get Bernoulli's equation, right? We know that Bernoulli's equation in z and x is given by dz by dx plus p into z equals to q into z power n where p and q are either functions of x alone Or constants. Right. And n is a real number. Such that n not equals to 0. Not equals to 1. Right. By comparing these two we can say that we have reduced the given equation to Bernoulli's form.
right again by comparing these two equations we'll get p q and n where p equals to x q equals to minus x cube now compare z cube with z power n then you'll get n equals to 3 which is neither 0 nor 1 and also it is a real number and here you are having p and q in terms of x and it does not involve any other variable other than x so we call p and q as functions of x alone right now we will reduce this equation to linear form we know that the standard form of linear equation in z, let's compare with z and x, okay, is dz by dx plus p into z equals to q into just q, where p and q are Either functions of x alone or constants. Right? So now compare the Bernoulli's form with linear equation form. Okay? So in the RHS part, in the LHS you'll have dz by dx plus some function of x into z equals to in RHS, you'll have function of x into function of z, right? But while coming to linear form, you're having, in the RHS part, you have, you will have either function of x alone or a constant, but not a function of z, right? But here we are having a function of z, so what we'll do is, we'll eliminate z cube from RHS part. So how you can eliminate z cube from RHS part? Simply, you can bring this z cube to LHS or you can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by z cube or you can divide both sides of the equation with z cube. So let's bring z cube to LHS part. Then we'll get 1 by z cube. I'll show you directly. 1 by z cube into dz by dx plus xz by z cube equals to minus x cube. Okay, now we'll see in detail. 1 by z cube times dz by dx plus xz equals to minus x cube, right? So from this we'll get 1 by z cube into dz by dx plus xz by z cube equals to minus x cube. You'll get the same thing. Likewise, if you multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by z cube, then you'll get z cube gets cancelled and again you'll get the same thing. Okay? Fine. Now this becomes 1 by z cube into dz by x dz by dx plus x into here you're having z by z cube okay so one z gets cancelled and you'll get one by z square again you can write one by z square as z power minus two We'll have 1 by z cube into dz by dx plus x into z power minus 2 equals to minus x cube, right? So now we are having... 1 by z cube into dz by dx plus x into z power minus 2 equals to minus x cube.
Now let's make the substitution. Let z per minus 2 be some u. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Okay. So here we will use chain rule. du by dx equals to, here we are having a function of z. So it involves a differential dz in between. Now let's find derivative of u with respect to z. You are having u equals to z per minus 2. Differentiate on both sides with respect to z. You'll get du by dz equals to derivative of z per minus 2 with respect to z is minus 2 into z per minus 2 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 z per minus 3. Right? So now you can replace du by dz with minus 2 z per minus 3. Since we know that z per minus n can be written as reciprocal of z per n then this becomes minus 2 into 1 by z cube. Okay, then we get du by dz equals to replace du by dz by minus 2 into 1 by z cube into dz by dx. Okay, so we have now you know this in the first term you are having 1 by z cube into dz by dx, right? But here you are having minus 2, 1 by z cube into dz by dx. So let's take minus 2 to LHS. We will get minus 1 by 2 into du by dx equals to 1 by z cube into dz by dx. So when z power minus 2 equals to u, then 1 by z cube into dz by dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into du by dx. Now we will write the above equation in terms of u and x. Okay. Then the above equation becomes Simply replace first term by this and z power minus 2 by u. We get 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into du by dx plus x into u equals to minus x cube. Right? Now, we are having du by dx. Quotient of du by dx is minus 1 by 2. So, we have to make this to 1. We will make the quotient of du by dx to 1 simply by multiplying both sides of the equation with minus 2. Because we are having, we have to cancel minus 1 and 2, right? If you multiply with minus 2, 2 and minus gets cancelled, okay? Multiply both sides of the equation with minus 2. Then we will get minus 2 times the LHS part equals to minus 2 into RHS part. And this becomes minus into minus plus 2 by 2 into du by dx. Minus into plus minus 2xu equals to minus into minus plus 2x cube. 2 gets cancelled and you'll get du by dx minus 2xu equals to 2x cube. Which is linear in u or u and x. Okay, we know that the linear equation in u and x is 
du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are either function of x alone or constants, right? So now again by comparing these two, we'll get p and q where p equals to minus 2x and q equals to 2x cube. If you notice, you're having p and q in terms of x and also it does not involve any other variable other than x. So now we are going to find the general solution to the given equation using the general solution formula of this reduced equation. You know that the integrating factor is given by for integral p into differential dx and general solution is given by u dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into differential dx plus c. Okay, so now we need to find integrating factor and then we'll go for general solution. We have p equals to minus 2x and q equals to 2x cube. So firstly we'll find the integrating factor. This is given by e power integral p dx which is equal to e power for p minus 2x to dx. Since minus 2 is constant so we can write it outside the integral you'll get e power minus 2 integral x dx which is equal to e power minus 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2. 2 gets cancelled equals to e power minus x square. So our integrating factor is e power minus x square. Now We'll find the general solution. Using this formula. If the general solution. To the given equation. is u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor to dx plus c. Let x square equals to t differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x equals to dt by dx from this we'll get 2x dx equals to dt or x dx equals to 1 by 2 into dt. Now we'll write the integrand and differential dx in terms of t. Okay. So we'll split x cube as x into x square and e power minus x square and dx will be as it is. Again, you can write this as x square into e power minus x square into 2x into dx plus integral constant c. Now, it is easy to replace 2x dx by dt since 2x dx equals to dt and replace x square by t. Then you'll get since x square equals to t and 2x dx equals to dt, then you'll get t into e power minus t into dt plus c. Now we can evaluate integral t e power minus t dt, right? integral t e power minus t into t. So here we are going to use integration by parts formula. Integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v dv. So how to choose u and dv? 
Here we are having integrand of the form polynomial function into some exponential function, right? So let's consider polynomial function as u and the remaining part as d. So we are having u equals to t and dv equals to e power minus t dt. So differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Sorry, differentiate with respect to t on both sides. Then we'll get du by dt equals to derivative of t with respect to t is 1. From this we'll get du equals to dt. Right? Now, integrate on both sides. Two time v. v equals to e power minus t dt is e power minus t by minus 1. Again, you can write this as v equals to minus e power minus t. Now, we can apply in this formula. Then, we will get u into dv equals to u into v for u equals to t into v for v equals to minus e power minus t minus integral v minus e power minus t into d for d equals to dt equals to minus t e power minus t. Okay, minus into minus plus integral e power minus t dt, which is equal to minus t e power minus t plus integral e power minus t dt is e power minus t by minus 1, which is equal to minus t e power minus t. So, you can write this as plus of minus e power minus t. Which is equals to minus t e power minus t plus into minus minus okay plus into minus minus e power minus t. Now take e minus e power minus t common from these two terms we'll get minus e power minus t times t plus 1. Integral t e power minus t dt equals to minus e power minus t into t plus 1. See, we don't write integral constant plus c for every integral, okay? We already have one integral constant. This is enough. No need to write again and again. So, we'll get minus e power minus t into t plus 1 plus c. Now, replace t. Since t equals to x square, then you'll get minus e power minus x square into x square plus 1 plus c. And you're having u into e power minus x square equals to minus e power minus x square into x square plus 1 plus c. We are having u into e power minus x square equals to minus e power minus x square into x square plus 1 plus c, right? Now, take e power minus x square to RHS. We will get u equals to minus e power minus x square times x square plus 1 plus c by e power minus x square. So, in the numerator, you are having one, two, two terms, and in the denominator, you are having one term. So, we can split the total expression into two terms. Minus e power minus x square times x square plus 1 by e power minus x square plus c by e power minus x square. Okay? So, here, e power minus x square gets cancelled from the first term. You get minus of x square plus 1. Plus, we can split this as c into reciprocal of e power minus x square. So, it gets u equals to 
minus of x square plus 1 plus c into reciprocal of e power minus x square is e power x square now we can take this term to LHS you will get u plus x square plus 1 equals to c into e power x square now we can replace u since u equals to z power minus 2 right again we have z equals to y minus x so you'll get y minus x whole power minus 2 which is again reciprocal of y minus x whole square so let's replace u by 1 by y minus x whole square then you get 1 by y minus x whole square plus x square plus 1 equals to c into e power x square which is the required solution so we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see in the next video until then bye bye